Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Days Gone on the Steam Deck. So 800p, this game is uh, verified, so that's a good sign. Then on graphics, we're using 80 degrees FOB, 80% resolution scale, which in this game on the smaller screen is really not that noticeable. We're targeting 40s in this part. Medium lighting, medium geometry, foliage draw distance on low. Shadows, you could put it on low if you want a small performance increase, but you lose lots of shadows when it comes to foliage. So in my opinion, medium is fine. Low cloud and fog, texture filtering on high, texture streaming on medium because of VRAM. And again, we're targeting 40s at the beginning. And I must say, first of all, it's not perfect 40s. There are some traversal stutters, some drops on the CPU side. So yeah, I mean, here we're targeting best performance possible, basically. Which works pretty well, I would say. Just put your refresher at 40 hertz, lock it to 40. It should be more stable. But when you move the camera rather quickly, it likes to drop. Not sure why that happens, but it does. Oof, I lose my bike. Great. <laughs> well, one day I'm going to I'm going to get it back. So what's the difficulty with this gun? I would say, apart from the GPU, the CPU when there's a lot of zombies on screen is quite significant. So yeah, there is also a CPU limitation. But again, when there's a lot of zombies on screen, which is in the challenge mode and some parts of the story mode, it's not only it's not a thing that you do on the game the whole time. So <clears throat> what we saw in the trailer, yeah, it happens a few times. It's not that that's everything the game has to offer, unfortunately, because I really liked the zombie horde thing but there is a challenge mode that allows us to play just that part of the game which i think is wonderful that's what we needed welcome back we're now in challenge mode this allows us to just tell the game hey send lots of zombies to me as you can see <laughs> they're coming my way just bolting towards me and as you'll see we're going to drop frames which again, it's to be expected. It's way more demanding than just running around. But it's so nice to be able to, again, play this portably. It's, a, in my opinion, a much better way to play it. Just because you can ride your bike, stand somewhere, pause the game, put it into sleep mode, and take it whenever you want to. You don't need to be hook to a monitor or anything. But as you can see, as the zombies fill the screen, it gets more difficult to run though. <laughs> so why I do not take this as a huge deal? Well, usually this thing of having hordes of zombies chasing after you is not the whole game. It's more of a rarity, I'd say. <laughs> so yeah, that's the 40 FPS thing. If you want to do 40 FPS, keep in mind that you're not going to stay there all the time. There are exceptions, as you saw a second ago. But just sacrifice the visuals. You get 80% resolution scale. Then you lower the lighting, the shadows. So there's less shadows, less complex lighting, worse uh, visuals in general. So I would say if you don't care about that, it's a good way to do it but you gotta sacrifice some stuff. So let's say we want to play at 30. Well, we can do 100% resolution, although I recommend 90, it looks almost the same. Lighting on high, geometry on high, foliage on medium, shadows high. Actually, medium shadows, they are quite demanding. Cloud and fog, medium is okay. Texture filtering, we can crank it up. So it's more of a mix between medium and high and 20% more resolution, which I think, well, I think it makes it look more crisp. 
And this is another option, it's visuals versus performance. I would say visuals on this one look pretty good, especially on a mix between medium and high versus slow, because a lot of foliage doesn't have shadows when you play on low settings. And the game looks way crispier. Yeah, the, the crispness of the image is right there with us, but we're closer to 30. So you there you sacrifice the frame rate. But I think in this particular case, it's worth the effort. Maybe keep it at 90% resolution, just to be sure it won't ever drop below 30. We're back now, and we're on battery. Apparently two, and a, 2 hours and 20 minutes of battery, which is not bad, in my opinion. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty good stuff. We're using quite a bit of battery, but hang on, 1.5 hours, so 90 minutes of battery. What I usually get in AAA games, such as this one. And on the small screen, really, it looks so crisp. It's kind of crazy. Frick you, doinks. Doinks. <laughs> okay, here we're dropping below 30, so... Yeah, let me do that again. Graphics, we've run the scale on 90%. And you're good to go. It looks almost the same. So we have that room to spare. Otherwise, in a very natural, na natural, natural environment such as this one, it can drop. So 90% resolution, and you'll be good to go. You can lock it to 30 also if you want to, using the Steam Deck's menu. And if you don't want to lock it to 30, you can just uh, play with unlocked frame rates, but the, s the battery will suffer the most. Let's see what happens. I'm already seeing the swarms of enemies coming towards me. I wish this game had more of this in the campaign. It's kind of a disappointment in that regard. Because this they showed up this stuff in the trailer, so you're expecting the entire game to be that. But unfortunately it's not. It has its things, but this part is something that I would like to see more from this title. I think that's why a lot of people said, oh yeah, it gets great after 30 hours of gameplay. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? And that's because you get more of this. Alright. Oof. Oh man. I hate that there's a stamina bar in this. Ugh. Okay, let's try it again. But again, basically in the hard mode it's hard to maintain 40s because apart from GPU there is a CPU limitation, which makes complete sense. I mean, let's be honest. With all those enemies on screen, it was to be expected. It's also Unreal Engine 4, so there's some traversal stutter here and there. So again, just for the visuals alone, I would say with a 30 fps target. All those shadows you see in between objects are basically gone on the 40 fps configuration. So you don't have any ambient occlusion. There's a lot of objects that do not uh, have shadows to them. Which again, the smaller screen you might say, oh that doesn't matter. Trust me, it does. It's very, very obvious. Oh, no more stamina. I'm screwed. Or am I? <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did playing Days Gone on the Steam Deck. Sometimes I forget this game actually exists. So it was nice to revisit another Sony title. A game that I never thought I would say outside of a PlayStation, which is always good. And it runs pretty well on Steam Deck while staying true to the visuals which I think is super important. It doesn't look like a potato on the Steam Deck. And again, playing this on the go, it's amazing. Just put some headphones, relax, <laughs> and enjoy. So thank you for watching. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.